Novelist James Foster and his wife M are spending time together at a seaside resort in Litolka. The hotel manager and his team, wearing unusual creepy masks for a local festival, welcome the guests and encourage them to have a good time. James and M enjoy their breakfast, discussing how weird the place is. Later on, when James arrives at the beach, a girl from the audience approaches him and engages in conversation. She introduces herself as Gabby and reveals she's a devoted fan of James, having read his first published book. Although James mentions his book's lack of success, Gabby's admiration brings him immense joy. She then introduces her husband, Alban, to James and invites him to dinner. That evening, James and M, along with the other couple, dined together at a restaurant, engaging in discussions about their professions. Alban works as an interior designer, while Gabby pursues a career as a commercial advertisement actress. M, who is the owner of a publishing company, holds significant wealth upon which James relies. Gabby then inquires about James and his upcoming novel. He reveals that he's come to the place seeking inspiration for his next book. After the dinner, James parties and dances with Gabby, feeling a euphoric, strange sensation. The following day, James and M conversed outside the hotel. M expresses concerns about the country's high crime rates, advising her husband against trusting strangers. James defends their new friends, citing their positive impressions from the dinner they shared the previous night. In fact, they plan to spend the day with Alban and Gabby, heading out together in a car. While at the beach, James remains fixated on Gabby. When James goes behind a tree to urinate, Gabby unexpectedly approaches him and grabs him, providing intimate stimulation before departing after satisfying him. After a day of sunbathing and cooking, the tourists return to their resort in an intoxicated state. While James is driving, the vehicle's lights suddenly start flickering. This unexpected event causes him to lose focus, resulting in him accidentally hitting a local man. Everyone exits the vehicle to check on the man, confirming his unfortunate death. Realizing the seriousness of the situation, James feels compelled to report the incident to the police. However, Gabby strongly opposes involving the authorities, citing the country's law as a major threat. James reluctantly agrees, and the four of them head back to the resort. The following morning, there's a knock on James's door, revealing police officers at his doorstep. James gets arrested, and Detective Thresh informs him about the unusual penalty for his crime. The deceased man's firstborn son could kill him. In this country's distinct system of justice, the guilty can opt for a clone to take their place, provided they can afford it. James decides to sacrifice his clone in his stead, and Detective Thresh procures a document for him to sign. After paying, James is stripped of his clothes and escorted to a room filled with chemicals, causing him to feel disoriented and experience hallucinations. In this state, he envisions Gabby naked. Later, M wakes James up, finding him still at the police station. She informs him that it's time for his punishment. Both of them head downstairs and meet Detective Thresh, who presents James with his clone, a perfect replica of himself. As James and M sit to watch the punishment, the deceased family is also present. James's clone is tied to a pole, and a boy steps up to brutally stab and kill him, leaving M traumatized and eager to leave immediately. However, James is oddly fascinated by the killing. After some time passes, Detective Thresh hands over the ashes of the clone to James, who takes them back to the resort. They begin packing their bags, preparing to depart. However, James is distressed as he can't locate his passport. He explains to M that leaving without it is impossible. He persuades M to head back to America while he plans to return in a few weeks. The following morning, James decides to extend his stay by an additional week and unexpectedly encounters Gabby and Alban once more. Gabby is well informed about James's recent trial and reveals that they know about the country's distinctive justice system, referring to cloning. Gabby introduces James to a small group of Western tourists, all of whom have been convicted of serious crimes in the local country and witnessed their clones being punished. Gabby brings James to her room, where Alban offers him a drink while the rest of their group is present. These individuals who annually return to the resort have committed grave offenses and pay to witness their clones being executed as part of the unique punishment system in that place. A man briefs the group about their upcoming crime to play a little game and cause trouble for the leader of the country. Despite the horrifying information, James maintains a composed demeanor. Gabby approaches him and invites him to join them. James surprisingly finds himself excited about the little game. As night falls, the group, wearing masks, departs for the leader's residence. As they reach the leader's house, they cause chaos, discovering the leader with his mistress. They cause breakage of the interior and hold the members at gunpoint. Gabby notices James's hesitance, realizing he's never taken a life before. She urges him to execute the leader, but James is unable to carry out the act. The leader's guard intervenes, initiating a shootout. In the chaos, Alban sustains injuries, the group returns to the resort. The following day, everyone finds themselves imprisoned for creating a mess last night. Detective Thresh charges them, claiming they've crossed boundaries this time. Additional officers arrive, restraining and lining them up together, 
where each clone has their throat slit, a spectacle that would have brought joy to the original individuals. Amidst this horrifying scene, James begins to have fun. He collects the ashes of his clone and returns to his room, now possessing two jars of ashes. M leaves James alone at the resort, scared of the strange culture. Later, Gabby encounters James on the beach, who is sad about M leaving. She kisses him, leading them back to the room. Gabby reveals a local intoxicating plant and prepares it for consumption. Both James and Gabby smoke it, leading to heightened excitement and intimacy between them, resulting in an intoxicated, intimate group activity. The next day, one of the members of the group mentions having discussed a new passport for James, but Detective Thresh appears unwilling to allow it. The group aims to teach Detective Thresh a lesson. That night, they gathered at the police station. While James remains outside, deeply intoxicated, the others swiftly retrieve Detective Thresh and place him in an ambulance. James, in his intoxicated state, becomes increasingly aggressive. He douses Detective Thresh with alcohol, publicly insults him, and beats him. Gabby and the rest enjoy watching as they remove the cloth from the man's face, revealing him to be a clone of James. James experiences a startling sense of fear as people laugh at him and runs to his room, consumed with guilt and a sickening sense of insanity. Despite their calls for him to come back, James decides to stop participating in their actions. He retrieves his concealed passport, hidden out of fear of M. James secretly leaves the hotel, boarding a bus headed for the airport, determined to escape the madness surrounding him. While on the journey, Gabby and her companions block James, causing him to panic. Gabby halts the bus with a gun, threatening everyone's lives. James exits the bus, and they take him away forcibly. Gabby expresses disappointment, considering James pathetic for falling into their annual scheme of mocking easy tourists. She admits to finding joy in insulting him, and admits to never having read any of his novels. They intend to bully him into becoming part of their morbid tradition as a murder tourist. Refusing to comply, James tries to run away, resulting in him getting shot in the leg before escaping into the nearby wilderness. Hours later, exhausted and drugged, he collapses at a farm, where a local family provides aid for his recovery. During his period of unconsciousness, James experiences hallucinations, perceiving himself in a house upon regaining consciousness. There, he encounters the son of the man he had killed earlier, who had punished James's clone. The boy proceeds to strangle James, leading to further sexual hallucinations of naked people. Additionally, he envisions the boy slicing James into two parts, but this is merely a dream. Once he regains his strength, he walks out of the house to find Gabby's group again. Gabby apologizes to James and summons a dog, indicating her intention for him to join their group. A clone of James crawling and collared like a dog is subjected to the same drugs to induce wild behavior. Gabby asks James to kill this clone, offering him a knife, which he rejects. The clone attacks James, but James fights him, fracturing the clone's jaw with a powerful punch. Traumatized, James is comforted by Gabby, who then rewards him sexually, signifying his inclusion in their group. After a few days, James communicates with M, informing her that he is returning home. James now possesses three jars of ashes. The following day, the whole group prepares to return to America, engaging in casual conversation about plans while James visibly struggles with the recent events. However, while waiting at...